Uh, hey guys, it's Delag here. I got a request to put together a video tutorial on how to set up IK controllers for first-person arms. Uh, so that's what I'm doing here. So the first thing that you want to do, you want to take your forearm bones and put a little bit of bend into them. Because if uh, you don't have any bend, if there's just like just completely straight all the way across, uh, the IK controllers aren't going to be able to work the way that they are supposed to work, so make sure that they're bent a little. Um, and then after that, you just select um, select a, the wrist bone, go to Animation, IK Solvers, HI Solver, and then you click on the upper arm, and then as you can see, it creates the, the chain, the IK chain, and then, you know, you can just scale that down so it's not... Uh, so it's not in your way, and then you do the same thing for the other arm, animation, HI solver, and you can just scale it down. And just for the sake of neatness, I rotate the uh, IK chain objects. It doesn't really do anything other than just keep stuff all in the same rotation. You don't have to do it. I do it. No. Just neatness. Um, and so then, uh, you want to create the actual controllers, which are what you're going to be selecting. You're not going to be able to do much with the IK chains themselves, because as you can see, uh, they don't preserve the orientation of the wrist bone, which is something that, you know, you, wa you want the orientation to stay the same. Um, so then you just go to Create, Shape and create a circle. It can be any shape you want. Uh, I just use circles because I'm used to using circles. Uh, and then, you know, you just clone the circle, make one for each axis of rotation, uh, convert to spline, and, you know, just attach the other two, give it some color, I'm using yellow, and then you move it over to have the same position as the IK, the, uh, IK chain, rather and make sure it has the same rotation as well. And then you just clone it and move it to the other side. Now what you do is you link the IK chain object to the controller. Do that for the other side. And then you select the wrist bone again, go to Animation, Constraints, Orientation Constraint, and then you select the controller. So what this does is it forces the wrist bone to have the same orientation as the controller object. So then, orientation constraint. And now, as you can see, if I move this, the orientation of the wrist is preserved. And if I rotate the controller, the wrist rotates with it. And that's, like, all there is to it. Uh, not a really big deal, not really complicated. You shouldn't have any trouble with it. Um, and I guess one last thing maybe that you want to know, um, let's say you've got your your joint is bent like this, but you don't want it to bend down, let's say for whatever reason you want it to bend to the side, uh, you select the IK chain object, you go to the motion tab, and then you can edit the swivel angle, and that changes the direction that it bends in. Um, it's really good for setting up origins, for, you know, setting up reloads for animations with weird origins where, you know, you might have some clipping with the arms. Uh, it's just good to know. It's useful. And that's it. So, good luck.